Hey loves, how's it going? It's Anne, welcome to my channel. I have been sharing with you my lifestyle change on how I want to simplify and live toward a more minimal lifestyle. And I'm just so grateful and happy that you also resonated with my message. So I want to continue on with this and share with you all my lifestyle changes, my healthy habits. And so today I'm going to share with you how I create a reduced waste a zero waste kit that you can carry around with you uh, every day or leave in your car for traveling or for work. I truly believe that everything starts with the right intentions and from there you create it through healthy habits and you live by example, by your actions. Um, and just by doing that, you know, you can just create this whole new lifestyle that is going to enrich everything around you and yourself. I know that I have a lot to improve, but I'm really happy that I'm doing something about it and that I'm moving forward with this. So I hope that I can impact and inspire you in some way or the other. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so let's go over the basic items that you can make and keep in your kit. We're gonna start off with this non-toxic DIY hand sanitizer. I've been wanting to make this for a while now, so finally, here's my chance. This is super easy to make. You can make a whole bunch of this for you and your family. Starting with a four ounce spray bottle, I'm going to fill it up one fourth of the way with some aloe vera gel. This is great for soothing irritations, it reduces inflammation, and also hydrates your skin. Now we're going to fill up the bottle with some witch hazel. It's antimicrobial and also an astringent that helps heal the skin from irritations and other allergy reactions. Then I'm going to add in about 6 to 10 drops of vitamin E oil which helps soothe skin and also is a natural preservative. Lastly, I'm going to add in about 15 drops of lavender oil to give it a nice scent. Make sure to shake up all the ingredients well and then you can use it. I am such a fan of the spray, I actually made an extra bottle to leave in my car for whenever I need to use it. Now for this next DIY, we're going to make some handkerchief. Here I have an old organic cotton flannel bed sheet that I'm going to repurpose and cut into rectangular squares. All right, so this next part is totally up to you, but what I'm going to do with the raw edges is fold them about half an inch in and sew them. By doing so, the edges will look nice and clean, and I can use this over many times as reusable napkins without having the raw edges unravel on me. This really helps me eliminate using paper towels and it's been super practical to have around in the house. I made a whole bunch of this and after I'm done using them, I just wash them and reuse. And of course, I'm going to include a reusable tumbler for my kit. You can of course use any other containers you prefer. I love using straws because it's very similar to ordering a takeout container. And I love to see what I'm drinking at the moment. It just gives me that satisfaction. <laughs> To reduce waste and to also enjoy my day, I would take this to my local cafe and ask for them to fill it up with my favorite drink. This tumbler holds up to 20 ounces of liquid altogether, so I would just pay whatever it's equivalent to, and my cafe don't mind filling it up at all. This next tip is very handy when it comes to going to the farmer's market. All right, so if you have some paper bags, I highly recommend for you to include that in your kit. Um, make sure that they come in different sizes. I love bringing this to the farmer's market with me or just going uh, produce shopping because all my produce stays more fresh in paper bags than they do in plastic bags. So what I do with this brown paper is I just cut them up into different size pieces. I roll them up and just tie them together with this twine. So when I go to the grocery stores or the local farmer's market, I just buy my produce, wrap them in between this and place them in the fridge. They will stay fresh longer than in plastic bags. My fifth essential item that I like to carry around with me is a foldable, reusable shopping bag. Although I am carrying a tote bag already, sometimes I do pick up other things along the way, especially when I'm running errands, and this helps prevent me from just bringing home more plastic bags. You can customize your own kit to however way you like, whatever's more suitable for your lifestyle. You can add a 
food container, depending on you know what you do during the daytime or where you're going. So I have a few kits here. This is my travel kit, and then I have a work kit, and then I also sometimes like to switch up my bag to something more edgy, you know, so it could go with my outfits, and that way I can feel excited about this lifestyle change instead of feeling restricted to being a certain way. I hope today's video inspires you so that way you can start creating healthy habits for yourself and everything else around you. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Comment below. Let me know which one is your favorite item in this kit. What would you add? What would you not have? Uh, and I will see you next Thursday. Love you. Ciao.